Hello, everyone. Well, it is time for the Fourth Art Saturday video hop again. Uh, this month's theme is Take Five. We're supposed to choose five items. Well, I needed elastic and an envelope. Those two things are priority. They have to be in our budget. And that's a piece of um, jelly print. And I have cons uh, content, uh, <sighs> copy paper. And of course, we're going to have our pens. So that is my five items. I did want to use paint as well. Uh, it doesn't say that I can't have six items or other art. It just says that I have to have those other things dominant. So uh, if, if we're counting the paint, we can leave the elastic out, I suppose. So these are my five items. Um, we're going to get busy here and decorate up this jelly print because I don't think it's quite... Um, sorry for making you seasick. Uh, I don't think it's, it's quite got the punch I want it to have. This is a video hop, so quite frankly, uh, there I'm not sure how many people are hopping, but there is always a link down in the description box below to the other hoppers. If you follow the top link in everyone's description box, you should pop back around eventually and see me and have seen all of the different videos. Uh, I love this little tool. It happens to be the inside of a um, scotch tape roll. It has a double line so it gives me this really cool uh, effect. Uh, I decided that the inside of our little journal is going to have to um, have some decoration too so uh, I did some painting on that. Now I'm measuring, and I was pretty sure I knew already that that was a six by nine envelope. I use them all the time, but I was double checking. Um, the point is, is that I want my paper smaller than that, and this is legal size copy paper. So if I use it, it's eight and a half inches wide, or yeah, and the length is 14, I think. So I can get two, two pages out of each sheet and have a little strip left over. Um, what I'm going to do is cut them, since my um, my cover is gonna be six inches tall, I'm gonna cut them at five and three quarters by the width of the paper. Uh, always when you fold sheets and you get a folio uh, folded in half and then you add more folios to it until you have a signature, the inside, portions have a tendency to stick out anyway. So that is um, one of the reasons why I like to have a little more room on the side. Um, I'm Here I'm just cutting the paper to size. Um, I'm deciding here whether or not that's enough paper and decide I want a couple more sheets. Now we're going to fold them in half, and I don't try to fold them all at one time. It's just, it's not as accurate, so I just fold a few sheets at a time. If the paper had been thicker, I might have folded it as one sheet at a time, but copy paper, you can fold two or three sheets. And now we're just going to stick them together. And we're going to take our paper. We had to let it dry a little. That paint was, you know, thick in places. It's still actually wet in a few places. But I wanted to decorate it with my pens. 
do a little doodling, and I thought you might enjoy watching me. I like circles. I like dots. Alrighty, so here's where things kind of went off the off the reservation. My big giant white Tosca pen is not drawn white. It's it's I don't know. It was bleeding all over, so I don't know exactly what it was, and I didn't want to take the time to find out because I was in the middle of making this video. So I grabbed a smaller pen, and I'm having to color in the white areas. Um. with the smaller pen. I really want those spaces to be good and white because I want to put black dots over the white. Um, so while they're drying, I'm going to go in and with my uh, little white Uniball Signo white pen, I'm going to put some little white dots in the previous black dots. And I promise you, this video has been sped up, <laughs> so I cannot draw that fast. I can't make dots that fast. Now I'm going to grab the black pen and I'm going to make some bigger black dots. That piece of jelly paper just, just didn't have quite enough oomph. It needed a little more decoration. So... I'm just doodling on it. Whatever looks, whatever makes me happy is what I'm doing. So here's where I go over the white little boxes just because they're not white. So um, now I, it, it's hard to tell. It could have been the paint that was underneath. It's just not letting it go over. Or it could be because I haven't used my Poscas in a, in a month or so. Um, the white ones usually have a better um, op opacity, opacity, something like that. They're more opaque. But I've got that um, Signo pen, Signo pen again, and I'm just making little white dots in the little in the bigger black dots that I made. Okay, things have to dry, so I've got my um, envelope, and I fold it in half, and little flaps are there, but the inside of the flap is straight, so to make it shaped like the rest of the um, flap, I just use the other corner and shaped it out. Sometimes you have to let things dry. So now I'm going to go in and do little black dots all over the little white squares. So all I did was add black and white to this jelly print. All right, so now I want to put that jelly print as the outside of my envelope, which will be the cover to my little journal. Uh, I'm going to use glue stick and I am going to do something wild because I run out of glue stick all of a sudden. I start hunting. Where's the next glue stick? Oh, there's the other glue stick. Not my favorite. Before it was all over, that one was empty too. 
I always glue stick doesn't always hold for some things like these. I like the glue stick because it's a broader field of glue, but uh, I do. I've been going around the edge with uh, the art glitter glue, which gives me a stronger hold on the edges. It's just one of those things that makes it a little bit works a little bit better. Um, And I'm just going to put the jelly print on there. Oh, got some on my fingers. And I'm just going to trim around it. Do be careful that you don't cut the edge of your envelope. When you do something like that, you want to cut just outside the edge of your envelope. Otherwise, you don't have a pocket anymore. Okay. Now that I have my flaps and my cover, but the glue on the envelope is always an issue if it gets damp or moist or so. I'm going to take a little bit of that jelly print and I'm going to use it to cover the inside of the flaps. And um, you saw that measuring tool, you know, just stick it in there and fold it over. Yep, that one fits. Yeah, that one's, yeah, it's a little bit long. Okay. And I just put the the jelly print on there and trimmed it off. And you ha sort of have to do these one at a time. It's easier than trying to do them both at the same time. If you've got a long piece of paper, you can do them both at the same time. Uh, I was using what I had left of that one jelly print. I'm just burnishing down where I glued everything down a little bit before I trim off the next part. And now, of course, I decided uh, we need to ink it. You know, we just need to ink it. It's kind of got that grungy feel, so I decided I would ink it up with some black. And of course, once you start inking, you got to ink everything. So now we've finished up our cover. And we've got our signature to stick in there. And I'm going to make it 
elastic. Now, sometimes a hairband will work, but that one is just too tight. I didn't like it, so I'm going to have to tie it completely. I would have tied the signature in with the longer elastic, but sometimes I can tie the hairband on, and that um, gives it is fine. So, But this wasn't. It was just a little too big. So I'm thinking, I have to think for a second. I want to make the knot be on the inside. So I'm just making enough cord so that I can tie a knot for the closure and then tie it on the inside to hold the signature in. My brain just would not tie that square knot today. It was it was just one of those, you know, sometimes you forget. So by tying a knot right there, it, it keeps the closure always the same. It's, it's not pulling on it. And now we've got to open up the, the book and we're going to tie enough cord in there. to hold our signature in. Now you can replace the pages if your little book runs out of pages. Now, for those of you who have watched all the way through, you will find out that I'm going to give this little book away. Uh, I think February 1st will be the date I draw for it. What I'm gonna do is use a random comment picker. So what do you have to do to be entered is to comment down below in the, dis in the comments and you have to answer a question for me. Question is, what would you use this little journal for if you want it? Um, so do make sure to comment and tell me what you'd use it for. Also make sure that you like this video and make sure to visit the other video hoppers for this particular theme which is called take five and um, if you follow the link list you'll hop around to this video again and i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you're enjoying the hop make sure to like everyone's videos and leave comments on their videos it does help their channels enjoy check the link list now go have fun make some art bye bye